Okay, in this video I'm going to show you the parameters that need to be defined within the PDE file, also known as a sketch, to configure your multi-rotor. The first parameter in the file is the minimum throttle range. This is the parameter that defines at what speed the motors will idle at and arm. So if one of your motors does not arm correctly, you may need to increase this value. And I like to do it by 20 points. Maybe go to 1140. If that still doesn't work, you know, try 1160. Inversely, if you arm the motors and they idle very high, you may need to lower it to a smaller number. You won't know that until you do a trial and error and find out the correct minimum value. You will also have to define the type of configuration for your multi-rotor. In this example, tricopter is enabled, but if you're going to fly a quad X, then you need to enable by removing the hash lines for quad X. The next parameter is for yaw direction, and if your quad compensates in the wrong direction, you can reverse it here by activating that line. Those are the minimum values that you need to change if you are building a quad with multi-wee gyro and a nunchuck for an accelerometer. If you are going to use any of the spark fun sensors, then you need to continue to the advanced conf uh, configuration. For example, here, if you're going to use the ITG 3200 servo uh, gyro, then you activate it here. You can only have one gyro activated at one time. So, in this case, I'm going to activate ITG 3200. The next item is accelerometer. If you're using the nunchuck, then you don't have to make any changes. If you're going to use ADXL 345, again, you just activate it. And you do that for each of the sensors that you plan to use. Just if I'm going to use the, the barometer, I activate it. If I'm going to use the magnetometer, I activate it. Some other options that you can activate here, for example, are your servo tilt. This is if you're using a camera stabilization system, you activate it as well here. And that's it. Once you've made those changes, you can click the arrow on the far right hand side here and it will upload your sketch. Once you upload it, then you can move on to connecting it to the GUI, make sure everything is working.